All right, y'all, I'm going to Walmart. I'm gonna do a little POV style drive while I'm on my way. Um, I just got off work, I'm tired, I don't need, nah, I'm good. Um, you ain't showing your face, man, what? I got a thousand, two thousand videos. Well, we're gonna talk about eating big to get big. We're gonna talk about eating extra calories to get big, to build muscle. Eating too many calories does not build extra muscle. It builds extra fat. I don't care how much you work out. I don't care how much you lift. I don't care how good your workout plan is. I do not care. Especially if you're natural, like myself. Um, how do I know this? I know this because I've been lifting for eight years and I've done it. I've done it. I've done the dirty bulks. I've done every everything that I tell y'all to do, or I'm not telling nobody what to do. Everything that I advise for people to do or give tips on is things that I've done. Everything that I tell you not to do is things that I've done and make mistakes on. So just just I'm trying to just tell you that, all right? So um somebody told me the other day that you cannot build muscle in a caloric deficit. Um in certain circumstances, yes, in certain circumstances, no, but you do not have to eat a buttload of calories to build muscle. All right? If you know your maintenance calories and you want to have an aesthetic body meaning abs and, and and not having a gut. Um, if you wanna lose fat, if you wanna lose arm fat or any kind of fat off your body, which you cannot spot reduce, all right? A lot of people think, oh, I just wanna lose my belly. I just wanna lose my arms. You cannot do that. Your, your body fat is gonna come off where it comes off. And usually the belly is the last thing, all right? Usually the love handles, the, the, the bottom tired, you know, a lot of people call it a peach body or 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 something like that or some whatever people call it. That's that area is usually going to come off last. All right. And yes, people hold different fat here, different fat there. Some people are more lower body fat, upper body fat, you know, especially depending on which gender you are. Um, but at the end of the day, you cannot spot reduce fat. Fat loss comes from caloric deficit, period. No matter how you choose to get into a caloric deficit or a caloric surplus for a weight gain, no matter how you depend on getting on there, you know, whether you get into a high caloric deficit or surplus, that's going to uh, determine of whether you're going to gain weight or lose weight fast or not. Um, if you lose weight too fast, guess what you're most likely going to lose? your hard-earned muscle. If you gain weight too fast, guess what you're not gonna gain mostly? You're gonna gain muscle, but on top of that muscle, you're gonna gain body fat. You know, and, and depends on how many calories you are, you're probably gonna gain a lot of body fat. A lot of people try to tell me that, you know, no, it ain't, no, it ain't, blah, 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 blah. Man, dude, I used to weigh 275. I had gained over 100 and something pounds. I've done that. And then I lost it because I realized that ain't the route. And the bad thing about it is your body is full of fat cells. And those fat cells, when they fill up, they split, just like an atom would split. They fit, they fill up, they split. You got, I don't know, millions of them. I don't know. We're not trying to get into the scientific of it. I'm just telling you. Just imagine a fat cell. And this is happening not one and two, three, four, five. No, all the fat cells in your body are going to fill up, they're going to split, and they're going to multiply. So the, the heavier you get, the more fat you build on by dirty bulking, the more fat cells you're going to have. And what's the problem with that? They can empty out. Yes, you can still get lean, but it's going to be harder for you to get lean and easier for you to build more fat. You got to keep that in mind when you're dirty bulking. Stop thinking you're going to be Jay Cutler or, or whoever your bodybuilding, uh, uh, whoever you think is good at bodybuilding. I already showed y'all the other video yesterday with Nick Walker. 
Y'all seen what he looked at like uh natural. Not dissing him. I'm just saying. I'm bigger than he was natural. My genetics are better than these bodybuilders. Oh, uh, why you gonna say that? You're right, this and that. Look up some of these bodybuilders where they're natural and then look at me. That's why how I mean in that. Not tooting my own horn. I'm just saying. You will be better off staying natural, lifting weights, and figuring how you can do it the nattiest way, the healthy way. I got kids. I don't want to take myself away from them. That's selfish. Oh, it's a it's a personal choice. They can do what they want. They can. But it's my personal choice to live. You know what I'm saying? Anything can happen. God forbid. Anything can happen. You know, I got my time, you know, but I'm going I'm to try to avoid it as much as possible. I ain't going to make it happen. Y'all better not hit my car with that thing. I, I swear, boo, boy. Man, all right. People so rude. They just walk right in between cars with, with grocery carts and stuff. I've seen people hit people car. cars. People think that's okay, too. People always think everything they do is okay. You ask for it. <laughs> I ain't gonna say what I'll do. I ain't gonna put my hands on nobody, nothing like that. But I'm just saying, like, nah, I'll cuss you out, and then if you want to throw hands, we can throw hands. And I'm defending myself at that point, right? So, yeah, you know, for educational purposes only, uh, allegedly. You feel me? But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man, I mean, sure. People be asking, don't knock on doors that you don't want to answer. I won't, I won't knock on nobody's door. I keep to myself. Try to stay in my lane. People always merging in my lane, man. Leave me alone. <laughs> God dang, man. But yeah, comment, like, subscribe, share, holler back at your boy. Think about that. Don't dirty bulk. Um, my my advice is don't bulk or cut until you realize um how to do it. So watch my videos. Watch them all. If you learned anything with me just going to Walmart. POV style, then I probably gonna put some like pictures on in front of this because it's like I don't want to be showing people's license plate. I got people on camera, I don't want to do that. No, I ain't gonna be doing all that. But yeah, man, comment, like, subscribe, and share. Watch my videos. This is just me going to Walmart and telling y'all something that was on the top of my head. Imagine what was I planned. Oh, yeah, click, click the link below 15% off Javi Coffee. Great coffee. Um, I just had a co worker, he bought like three bottles. He said he loved the stuff. He got the mocha. He got the uh, French vanilla. And uh, I think he got the, uh, what else? He got something else. Caramel, I think. I forget what he said. He got three bottles, though. That's three months supply. And he got a 15% discount off all of it. You know what I'm saying? So it's a good deal on top of a good deal. I'm going to put the uh, link below. So uh, compare it to any of y'all uh, coffee that you usually drink. You do not have to be drinking no coffee that's been sitting in some break room for how you know who's long, who made it. Uh, who, you don't know who made it. You don't know how far how long it's been sitting there. You don't know nothing. Um, you ain't got to pull up in no drive-through. You know what I'm saying? People you don't even know touching all over it and be coughing and stuff on it. And, 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 and <laughs> I'm just saying, I've seen things. So I'm just saying what I've seen before, allegedly, for educational purposes only. You know what I'm saying? Um... You don't gotta do that. You ain't gotta spend five, six, seven, eight, ten dollars on some coffee, man. You can make your own stuff. Also, if you're dieting, you want to make your own stuff anyways. Why? At home, because or on the go. It's it's, it's very convenient. So you want to make your own stuff anyways because you can control your calories that way. You don't want to add thousands of calories to a coffee. You know, you got zero calories, then you add a million calories. Oh, coffee ain't no calories. But then you add all this other stuff, and now you're drinking 3,000 calories, and you think you still ain't got no calories because you just count from the coffee. You got to make sense. You got to count everything, man. Count your calories, maintenance calories, all of that. Find your calories and not teach you how to do all that. Blah, 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 blah.